Shimshke and Sichas Aran, we hold him at the Rebbe, it's Nisiyah to Eretz Yisrael. Four days after they left Odessa, they came to Istanbul. And they sat by the pier, because they wouldn't know which house to go into. And they weren't able to differentiate between a Muslim and a Jew. And they couldn't even ask, because they didn't know the language. And they saw this just sitting there by the pier, you know, not going anywhere. So they went and they found a person who was a translator that knows our language. And he was the go-between. And immediately, they, immediately they, 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 they uh, rented, you know, a good hostel in the part that's called Galita. And when... Once they came there, after an hour or two, the Rebbe says he doesn't want to stay there. Uh, so the, the, the go-between, the, the broker, says maybe you want to be in the, the, the main part of Istanbul. In other words, the royal city. Because this is, this is the, 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 um, the residence of the... the, the governor and there and no 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 families are allowed to, to, to live there no peasant only males never says yeah this is good this is good for me and he says over there that there are over there there is um, a messenger from Etzisra and with him two other people that come from our Medina, from, you know, from, from, from Ukraine, from Russia, from there. They were in Eretz and now they're going back home. And they're going from Eretz Yisrael to Chutzlarz. So when Rabbeinu, when Rabbeinu came, heard this, he told to the man who was with him, I warn you, do not reveal who I am, no matter what. Don't tell them who I am, even if they ask about me. And they went, they went to the other town. And when they got there, immediately one of these two people, you know, that were going back to, from Eretz Yisrael, recognized the person that went with Rabbeinu. He says, what are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing here? He says, I'm going with this young man to Eretz Kodesh. And he says, and who is he? So he said, he has, he has, a, he has a ticket from, his, he has a, uh, he has a, um, a license from the, the the commissary of the the Austrian emperor, and he didn't want to tell him who, you know, and he wouldn't tell him who it actually is because Rabbeinu told him so, and immediately they started suspecting Rabbeinu. What's going on here? They thought maybe is is he's going from uh, uh, the the Kaldan, I don't know what this Kaldan is, uh, to make a machlokas on the famous Chassid, the, the, the holy Kodesh Kodeshim Moreno, Rabbi Avram Kaliske, who was a Talmud of Ramnach Mendel from Vitebsk, and there was a machlokas between the Tzaddikim about the money for Eretz Yisrael, which way it should go, between Rabbi Kaliske and the Balatania, which way the, the, the money of the Rabbi Balanes, which way it should go. So they suspected that Rabbi was actually, you know, a messenger to whip up some kind of a chloikis on the, the Kaliske, Zichon Revoch, and the people around him. And they got into such mistake about this until they had proofs in their minds, big proofs. You know, according to their mistake. And they were absolutely certain that Rabbeinu is sent from these, from the many people in order to have Machloikas on the Babon Kaliskin. So they started asking, investigating by this other person that was in Rabbeinu. He says, I, does Rabbeinu have some kind of a letter? Is he bringing a letter from somebody? So he says, no. And he says, what is this Kavan with this in This is so. This person said, I don't know. So, and then they would not be silent on this person anymore. They wouldn't rely on this person anymore. He says, he's also cheating them. 
says, even though we know you already from before, that you're kosher, you're alachayit, you know, but now we don't know if you're still, if you're still okay. Maybe he says, did you ask your Rebbe, Reb Nachman from Envilovke, whether you should go with this person? So he said, yes, but they didn't trust him anymore. Because it was absolutely certain in their minds that Rabbeinu is, is a cheater, and he is an instigator, Chas Shalom, to go to instigate a people in that's Israel. So they went to Rabbeinu himself to try to investigate, to understand from him who he is and where he's coming from, what kind of family, and he wouldn't tell them. So they asked him, you know, with, with Chachma, you know, they went to investigate whatever to understand, some kind of a deeper, to understand who he is. And every question they asked him, he answered them with his own Chachma, and they couldn't understand anything. And he totally confused them. And he deceived them and, and totally, you know, twisted their minds until they couldn't understand from him a thing or half a thing. Nothing. Ghoulish. They didn't know what. Every time he, looked, he seemed to them to, to be a different person. Sometimes they asked him, is that correct? And he said, yes. A different, different day they asked him, suddenly they said, are you Israel? He said, yes. And the Abba, yes, they said that you are Koyen. He says, now you're saying you are Israel. He says, Koyen is Chesed. Israel is a different meter. Oh, Hashem, I have this meter and this meter. He says, ah, you see, we, now we know that you are one of the instigators. That's why you didn't want, you don't want, you don't have to reveal. They started hating him, like really hating him. And they, Mavaza him, they, they, they humiliated him, all kind of busyness, and they cursed him unbelievably. It was horrible, like days and days. And, uh, and it was such busyness he got from these two people. Rabbeinu asked him, started asking him, he says, listen, listen to me. Bevadai, I'm not going to tell you what's my kavana going to have to Because even from my own heart to my mouth, I didn't reveal that reason. But still, you know, it's good. Let's sit, you know, Let's sit together, all brothers, you know, just enjoy each other's company. Even though you don't know my kavana, I don't know your kavana, just whatever. He said, if you will tell us your kavana, they tell them, the vadai, a great goodness is going to come f- to you. He says, I don't want no goodness from you. I don't want any, any benefit from you. And I'm not going to reveal to you my kavana b'shumov. Adobe, you can receive from me a big time if you want. So they answer, well, it seems from your language that you're speaking like one of someone, the big tzaddikim, like Rabbi Baruch of Mezhebos, or Rabbi Sholom of Drubitsch, or Rabbi Nachman from Vildovke, they're speaking like this. That their, their way is to speaking is to say great things about themselves, you know, which are nista. He says, but since you're, you're not one of them, so you're, you're an instigator, you're a chelik on the tzaddik, and he says, that before, remember, before you come to Eretz Israel, there's going to be a letter there that you are one of the instigators, you are one of the spies, so you shouldn't be able to, 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 to cheat them. And they went to the travel agent, and he was a, a man from Poland, and he married a, a Spanish woman, and his mother-in-law was a bus buys in the governor's house. And this person was very big, and that he was very influential there. But these people went to this, this, this governor, this, uh, this uh, travel agent, and asked him, Hashem, don't let this person to go to Eretz Yisrael. He's one of the instigators. He wants Chas Khalil, he wants to make a garish condition, you know, exile the Jews from over the Chas and, 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 and if you can do some kind of a bad to him, you know that you'll have double scha from the Shemaim. And Rabbi Yisrael Nevrocha, and the man who was, and didn't know anything about it. Ad Khan, on the trip, to, uh, to show. Sichos Haran. Sichos Haran. Sichos Haran. Sichos Haran. Sichos Haran. Dun dun dun. Sichos Haran. Okay. Right. This is a long, this, 
we'll just start it and we'll tomorrow. So a person must strengthen himself in the moon and not go into any kind of investigations. And not even to go in, in not even look in this forum of investigators. No, uh, to understand. Just believe in Hashem is Baruch Amunah without any hakiras, without any investigations. Even though it seems to us that the simple people are very far from hakiras, they don't investigate at all. Truth the minute is that they're totally submissed in hakiras. Each one, no matter if he's stupid or he's smart, is mished with hakiras. Even the small ones, they have all kinds of hakiras and build bull and this and that and whatever. It says every person has to be very careful to be push away hakiras from his heart. Throw it off as a heart. Don't be an investigator, don't be a skeptic. Just believe in the Kodesh Baruch Hu and the truth tzaddikim. Just the moon, possible. No hakiras cloud, you don't need proof, don't need anything. The Boch Hashem was able to receive the Torah Kedoshah from Moshe Abeinu Allah Shalom. The Boch Hashem had great tzaddikim throughout the generation, every generation. And it is right that we just rely on them without kids, without shtusim, that what we are smarter than they are. Just rely on them and just follow them and believe in Kodesh Baruch Hu, the the way that, 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 that our forefathers gave us. And when a person goes between his Be'emunah without any cares, without any of this, he can be Zorich and the Kodesh Baruch Hu will help him to achieve such a Ratzai, such a Ratzai to the Kodesh Baruch Hu, which is beyond Chochmah. It's above the Chochmah. Because really the Chochmah, the Kedusha, is above the Emunah. Emunah is Malchus, Chochmah is in Chochmah. But above the Chochmah is the Kesar, this is the Ratzai. It's called Rabba the Rabbi, right? This is Rabba, this is the Ratzan. So if you go with the Muna Pshuta, you can bypass the Chochmah and get, the get into the Ratzan, into the Zilamal. Still, we have to go without Chochmah and Chkirs just by a Muna, because a Muna is a very powerful thing. And when you go with the Muna without no Chkirs, no Chochmahs, you can achieve a Ratzan which is so unbelievably beyond the Chochmah. You have such a, 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 an unsatiable desire to a Kodesh Baruch Hu in such an, an, an unbelievable, you know, ishtekikus and, 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 and that you wouldn't even know what to do. I, I explode, you know, so to speak, from, from return to a Kodesh Baruch Hu and you shout into a Kodesh Baruch Hu and ask them to make care of you. He says, but this, there's, there's a skeptic in the heart of, 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 of people. That's about Dover. And he puts all these skepticism, all these questions and this in the heart of men. And you have to subdue him and you have to chase him away. Chase from your heart all the hakiris, all the skepticism, just be mechanism with the muna, the way we say it. We continue tomorrow.